Hi YouTube, my name is Mary and I'm here to do a haul for Bath and Body Works. I have a bigger bag, I'm going to move this out so you guys can kind of see me better. So you guys can kind of see me better. Okay, perfect. So I end up picking up eight candles. Um, excuse my lighting. I don't have like I'm recording from my phone. So, but I picked up. So I picked up eight candles, and let's just go ahead and jump into the video. Um, they have put out some of the the store that I go to. It's like a test store, so they have put out some of the new packaging candles. Um, and I think I ended up picking up two of those. So, and I ended up getting, I have a lot of them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six coupons. And these say, um, from June 10th through June 16th. That's all these say June 10th through June 16th. So, um, I'm pretty sure that's probably what the other ones that I have say too. Because sometimes when you go in the store, like I remember last year, it was a store that I had went to and it was like, oh, do you have your coupon? And I'm like, y'all have the coupon code. Like, just give me the coupon code. Just use the coupon code. But some stores you go to will ask for your coupons. Some stores are a little bit more lenient, like my store that I go to. Some stores will not let you do multiple transactions. My store does. <clears throat> so you just kind of have to ask and just be aware that every store is different, okay? So I have a lot of these Okay, so I ended up getting some pocket bags too. We'll talk about those. We'll talk about, I ended up doing four different transactions because I wanted to try to get the best bang for my buck. Um, I ended up, because the candles are $14.50 today, so I ended up getting like two candles and a pocket bag. So I'll show you the candles first, and then I'll show you the pocket bag. Okay, because ain't nobody here for no pocket bags. We're here for the candles. Okay, so the first candle, the, another candle that I picked up that I have been burning is the Flamingo Beach. And oh my god, this candle smells so good. This is in like the new packaging, like where they just have the sticker in the front, which I like it. It's still like the the old packaging is just like a wraparound of this of this one, of this um sticker, but it's so pretty and the candle just smells so good. And the notes on this candle is called Pink Summer Berries, Juicy Orange, and Blue White Petals. So backstory on this candle. I ended up purchasing this candle um, like when it first came out like in the spring and I was smelling it and I was like yeah I'm not really feeling this candle so I ended up taking like all three of them back right so I ended up <laughs> like right so I ended up so you can't judge a book by its cover so I ended up watching YouTube videos and just listen, just listening to people um, listening to some people review this candle and they were talking about how good it smelled burnt i think my only issue was because of the if you hear that loud noise in the background that's my washing machine washing machine so i'm sorry but um the my only concern was the dewy white petals because i'm i'm not a floral person i don't really care for floral scents but this is like the perfect combo of sweet berries and flat floral so it's just like it just smells so good and i should have went with my first mind because when i first smelled this candle i was in love with it so i'm kind of upset that i took the other three that i had back because i could have had six i went back today and they only had two left so i picked up both of them um the other one that i picked up is in the old packaging when it first came out which is this wraparound packaging and the wax is white um and you know if you just really want my honest opinion this the pink wax almost seems to smell much stronger than the white wax i mean 
but this because I have this one now that's burning in my bedroom and it smells really good. But um, so I'm, it's it's gonna be interesting to see how the white wax works. But I digress. So I have two pink flamingos. I picked up me another gingham candle because I absolutely love this scent. It smells so good. It smells so good. I know some people were saying they really didn't like it. I absolutely love it. Um, I can't wait to burn it. So I have, so I wanted to have like two backups, you know. So the notes on this gingham candle is blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine with essential oils. And I just, it's just so, it just smells so good. It just smells like a, it smells perfumey, but it also smells like I get the peach. It's like a fresh peachy citrusy smell. Does that make sense? Perfumey, perfumey scent. But it smells good, so I'm glad I was able to get another one of these. And once I burn it, I'll come back and let you guys know how it burns. The next one I picked up is another berry waffle cone. Um, I burned so good. I burned the one wick candle when they had the one the sale for the the one wick candles for five ninety five. So I ended up um, getting two of, two of the berry waffle cones and one uh, fresh water. Um, and I ended up burning the one one wick candle and it burned so nice. Um, the notes on the uh, berry waffle cone is sweet summer berries, golden waffle cone, and creamy vanilla. I have not burned a three wick candle. In the berry waffle cone yet because I need to get more oh, it's just like a like a you get more waffle cone and the berries kind of come at the end but it smells so good so that's berry waffle cone go pick you one up the next one I picked up is beach scapes I'm gonna burn this one soon because I want to see how it burns. Um, I was reading the reviews online. They were saying that it was like really the throw on it was horrible, but it smells so good. And this is like what I want. Like I want something like really fresh and oh my god. Like I can just see this like in my bathroom or my bedroom and just smelling like really nice and fresh and clean. Like that's the scent. Like, I love those scents, and it's just a shame that reading reviews, because on cold, this candle smells so good. But reading the reviews, it was kind of like, some people were saying the throw was great, some people were saying that there was no throw at all. So I'm praying that my throw is on point. So the notes on this one is called, the, the notes on the beachscape is fresh sea breeze, warm cotton, and sweet lotus flower with essential oils. And it just smells like a nice, oh my God, it just smells so, smells so good. And the packaging is like really, really pretty too. So, so I'm really excited about this one. I just hope it doesn't disappoint me. And the next one I picked up, <sighs> Salted Pretzel Milkshake. I absolutely love this packaging. Look at that packaging, guys. And it smells... Oh, it smells so good. It almost kind of reminds me, if you ever... I fell in love with pecan waffles. No, this does not smell like pecan waffles. But that is like the only, like, super sweet scent that I really fell in love with. And this one is like... Sweet, but it's not like super sweet so the notes on the salted pretzel milkshake candle is cream of vanilla ice cream salty pretzel bits and gooey chocolate drizzle with essential oil so now let's get to the notes what i smell so i definitely smell the vanilla so if you're not a vanilla person that you don't really care for vanilla to me like that's what's going to hit you in your face like straight up vanilla so if you're not a vanilla person, you're not gonna like this candle. 
on Kohl's. Now, I'm, I don't know if this is my, I just bought it today, so I don't know. Um, but I'm just saying, like, if you don't know, I'm not a fan of the vanilla scent, because the first, the first note is cream vanilla ice cream, like, you're not going to like it. The second note is the salty pretzel bit, and then the gooey chocolate. So, first hand, when I take the top off, I smell vanilla. You do get a little bit of saltiness, and you do get a little bit of the the chocolate. It's not like Hot Fudge Sunday where you get nothing but chocolate. It's not like that. With this candle, I get straight up vanilla. So, um, I'm excited to try it just to see that maybe once it burns, it's like those other notes are kind of, you know, push through. But, um... I don't hate vanilla fizz, but it just smells, to me, it smells just like vanilla ice cream. So, this is my thought. I could be wrong. So, that was this big bag. Put that up on my sofa. And then the, the last two candles I picked up. Okay, so this is in the, the new packaging. One of them. One of them is, and one, one is a candle that I've never had before. And I was just trying to decide, like, do I want to get something I've never had before? Do I want to get something that, that I don't have? Or do I want to get some other things that I do have and just kind of have backups for those? So I decided to go with things that I don't have in my collection right now. So I ended up picking up an island margarita. I do not have one of these in my uh, candle stash. I do not have one of these. Um, this is not my favorite, but I used to buy this a long, long, long time ago, and I absolutely loved it, and because it's so strong, it's like, it smells, I mean, it doesn't smell bad, so I'm, I, I used to love it, so I'm hoping once I burn it, that it just brings me back those memories, you know what I'm saying? So, the notes on this Island Margarita... It's sweet mandarin, island mango, and sea salt with essential oils. And I love the packaging. It almost kind of reminds you of the, the milkshake, the, um, see, because it has the, the packaging. See, see how it has the, the, it says packaging. I mean, the, the milkshake on it. And that's how this one is with the island margarita. It has the margarita. So the packaging is super cute. So I'm hoping that they have a bunch of these for SAS because I'm going to, not of just scent, but they had pink apple punch, they had cherry malone, they had peach bellini in this packaging. So if you're interested, go to your, I don't know if they're going to be in every store, but my store is a test store. So, so yeah. I think I'm going to burn this today. I think this will be best burned like in my living room or my kitchen. So my kitchen, living room area. So yeah. And the last one that I purchased is one that I don't have in my collection either. And it is uh, Blue Ocean Wave. And this simple packaging with the blue candle wax. And the notes on this one is Ocean Breeze Citrus Seed Spray and Creamy Sandalwood. I love sandalwood, but I do not get sandalwood out of this candle. It smells really nice, fresh, and clean. What I want, what I'm looking for, it smells really good. But it doesn't, I don't smell any sandalwood. So, these are the... Eight candles that I picked up and now on to the pocket back <clears throat> so basically what I did was because it was 10 off of 30 I felt like the easiest way for me to get the best bang for my buck would be to split up and do different transactions my store allows that so like I'm saying your store may not allow that but you, it does not hurt to ask so I did two candles and then I did a pocket bag. So that's what I was saying in the beginning of the video. I did four separate transactions. So that way my total came to $22.20 for each transaction. 
and it took the candle because I know a lot of people are upset about the 1450 candle price so this took the candle price down from 1450 to 979 or 978 so nine dollars and some change which is not even ten dollars so I think that even if you pay ten dollars like that's not a bad it's not a bad price so you get two candles for basically like nineteen dollars and some change twenty dollars twenty twenty dollars and some change so that's not a bad it's not a bad deal um and like I said you can split them up into different transactions you can do I know my I did four separate transactions um if I had you know if So, I ended up getting four pocket bags, so let's talk about the pocket bags that I got. I don't really use these, I just have them because they're perfect for me to give away as gifts. So I ended up picking up, this one is called, um, Don't Quit Your Dream, Don't Quit Your, Don't Quit Your Daydream. This one is Sweet Star Quest. I guess that's a, it smells good. But this is what it looks like. Okay. The next one is Gingham. I got a Gingham one. I might keep this one for myself. It looks so cute. I picked up a raspberry lemon sorbet. Oh my god. Do they, they have a candle on this? This smells so good. Ra raspberry lemon sorbet. And then I picked up Shell Break. Shell. S H E L L Break. Okay. That wasn't how that was supposed to go. Okay. Um, and this one is Island Papaya. And the packaging is so cute. So that's what I picked up today from Bath and Body Works. Um, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, tell me what your favorite candle is. Tell me um, what your least favorite candle and just tell me what you think about my video. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Please like the video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.